good thing about ASH when it started was that it was small. Dr. Carl Moore said at that, at that meeting that the main purpose of the ASH, the, the, the uh, New Society, was to give one good scientific meeting a year. That was all. And I said, yeah, that's right. Was I wrong? <laughs> Probably there were 50 or 100 people who came to the first meeting. When I went to my first meeting in the 70s, which was in uh, Hollywood, Florida, there were about 2,000 people there. So it's grown from 2,000 to 22,000 in the time that I've been, been coming to these meetings. Despite the name American Society, it's an international society. People come from all over the world to attend the annual meeting in December. Nowadays, the constituency of ASH is, to a large part, international. There's a significant international membership, and there are many uh, contributors to uh, the, the Blood Journal. It was started by a, a, a committed publisher, Dr. Stratton, who became part of Grun and Stratton. Under the tenure of every editor, the scientific impact of the journal has continued to go up. In the 50s, hematology didn't exist as a separate specialist. So 50 years ago, clotting factors weren't even known. In this subsequent 50 years, all these proteins have been isolated, their genes have been cloned, many new proteins have been found, inhibitors of coagulation were discovered. Because of all this, for instance, cardiology has thrived, so cardiology does stents, angioplasty, coronary bypass, none of these operations would be possible without the discoveries of hematologists. Hematology has permitted us to learn about functions of cells that have in fact impacted on the studies done subsequently in all the other systems, whether it's nerves, muscles, even bone, heart, Kidney. I spent a year with uh, Dr. Max Wintrobe. He, I think he first realized that when you put a tube of blood on the, stand it up on the table, the red cells gradually fall down. Undoubtedly, the, the, my major mentor was Clem Finch. In Clem's mind, if not an experiment, every patient was someone that you could learn from. He could take facts from different disciplines and figure out how they were connected like no one I've ever met. As a medical student, I became very interested in Do Dr. Damashek, who was really the, the person who started the American Society of Hem Hematology. Hematology has been the leader in molecular medicine in the treatment of malignant disease, a leader in uh, virtually all aspects of uh, clinical investigative medicine. I discovered chromosome translocations in leukemia um, and also found an important one in lymphoma. But then as we began to understand what genes were at translocation breakpoints uh, and how the genes were altered as a consequence of the translocation, this has led to the development of, of very critical therapies. I had a phone call about 3 o'clock in the morning and he said uh, that I had received the Nobel Prize for bone marrow transplantation. And I thought it was probably one of my trainees pulling my leg. And he received the Nobel Prize for very original and innovative research he did, but he also I think received the credit for courageous work because no one believed that a bone marrow transplant would work in those days and really cure patients. You know, few of us are really privileged to, to do something that's, that's going to make a difference for some people. The field of hematology is absolutely booming in basic research, in clinical research, and the interaction between those. You know, I think we're not at the center of our knowledge of, of blood and, and blood cells, blood vessels, I think we're at the edge of it. And there, there will be more excitement. People who are uh, facing another 25 years 
of clinical work in hematology, I can assure them they're looking forward to a very bright future. Because there has never been more hope for people with diseases that used to be considered uniformly fatal.